Hey everybody, what's up? It's Nick here, and in today's video, I'm going to be giving you guys another exciting Photoshop tutorial. Woohoo! Yay! And as you guys can probably tell by the background here on my desktop, as well as the background music playing, it's a holiday themed background. Yay! I'm so excited today, not really. So, pretty much. I wanted to make a holiday video for you guys, sort of holiday themed. It's Christmas themed for me because, well, I celebrate Christmas. If you don't celebrate Christmas, well then, happy whatever you celebrate. But I'm just going to say happy holidays to all of you guys right here. And in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to make a cool little effect like this inside of Adobe Photoshop version CS4. So again, you can use any version of Photoshop, but I'm going to be using CS4 to get the job done. So I want to say a couple things before I go ahead and get started with the video. First of all is the fact that I'm using the built-in microphone on my laptop because I filmed this video twice with my headset and uh, the first time I screwed it up with a couple of bloopers and the second time, uh, well let's just say my microphone decided to not record all but the first minute of it. So pretty much this is my third time recording it and nothing is going to stop me from finishing it. Another thing is I've also tried to do a little something fun with you guys. I've hidden a secret annotation on the video, which is in plain sight, but unless you guys are looking for it, it's not really there. So if you find the secret annotation, click the link and then it'll bring you to a secret video. So yeah, it's a little fun video which I took with my friends while I was, you know, in my field trip and my dad just walked by and screamed woohoo at me. So. But again, I'm not retaking the video. So if you guys want to see this secret little fun video, find the secret annotation on the video. Yay, fun stuff. So without further delay, let's get to the tutorial. So to go ahead and do this right here, we're going to be using Adobe Photoshop. I don't have it launched up right now, so let's just launch it up. So I'm not prepared for this. Okay guys, and so now we have Photoshop loaded up here. So the first thing we want to do is go to File, Create a New Document. Make it whatever size you want to. I'm going to name it this, and I'm just going to name it blah, 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 blah. Click OK. And if you guys want to import a background image, you can. This right here is the background image I'm using. I'll post a link to it in the description if you want to use it. So let's go ahead and import my background image. And I'm going to take it out, and I don't want the marquee tool. So I'm just going to resize it to go ahead and just use my document. So I think I actually almost got it dead on size, so yay for me. So there we go. So I'm going to delete this layer right here, and I'm going to name this background. Okay, so the first thing we want to do once we have our thing set up like this is go down, create a new layer, and grab your text tool. And uh, make the foreground color whatever you want to, but I'm just going to keep the text here. The current font is going to be Calibri. I'm going to keep the size to 200, and I'm going to make the... Uh, color of it sort of a darkish lightish red and then I'm going to type in uh, I'm going to type in mcw 324 and I'm going to center it to the center of my document and to make it so you can see it a little better I'm going to go over here into blending options and add in a drop shadow pull click OK and then as you see we have a drop shadow there now I also think I'm going to change the color overlay of it to something where I can actually see so this that default red is okay for the video and so now that you have your text the way you want to first thing you want to do is create a new layer set the foreground color to white and grab your rectangle tool go ahead and create a small little rectangle like this you can move it around any way you want to and you're pretty much going to be doing that to make the stripes. So go ahead and just, uh, not blending options, first go ahead and go to duplicate the layer and basically move it down and keep duplicating the layer and make your stripes until basically you have the sort of candy cane looking stripes that you want. So I think I'm going to add in one more stripe for good measure. Okay, so once you have all your stripes added to the way you want to, then you want to go ahead and select all of them and you want to, one, let me select all of them, then you want to go ahead and merge them together. Then once you have them all merged together, hold down Command if you're on a Mac control, if you're on a PC, and click the little icon next to the text. Then use Command, Shift, and I, or Control, Shift, and I to inverse it. Then just go ahead and click Delete, and it will delete the background. Basically what we did was inverse it, so I did to select, and then I did inverse. That's basically what I did. And so then, as you see here, we have our little candy cane effect right here. So once we have that, I'm going to name this just Stripes. I keep bringing up blending options. So I'm going to name that to Stripes. I'm going to create a new layer, and I'm going to name that to Wires. So we're going to basically make the wires of the Christmas lights. So to do that, 
select your foreground color to black, select your brush, and set the brush to whatever size you want to. I'm going to use 5 just for the purposes of this. And then what you want to do is basically just go ahead and create some wires. Now don't make them completely like wrongfully out of the picture big, but you can feel free to be rough with them and just make your wires like this. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and speed up the video so you guys don't have to watch me create wires for that long. So, as you guys can see here, I was a little rough with my wires, but basically what we're going to be doing to get the wire effect to look all nice and clean is we're going to do the same thing we did with the stripes. Hold on Command or Control and click the thing on the text layer, then use Command, Shift, and I, and Delete. And basically, as you see here, our wires look normal, like they're strung across and they're not all flapping around and loose all over the place. So now the next thing we need to do is create a new layer. I'm going to name it Lights. And once in there, basically what we're going to do, grab the brush tool, make it to something a little bit bigger. So I'm going to use size 15. And then I, what I did was I went over here and I enabled the swatches tab just so I could go ahead and pick out my swatches. And I used Christmassy colors and just made little dots on the wires to go ahead and make my lights. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, do that right here. And I'm going to speed it up for you guys so you don't have to watch me doing it. So. Okay guys, so once you go on ahead and have that done, what, you, what I want you to do is I want you to select the foreground color to white, and then I want you to select your brush tool to something a little smaller, like let's say 7, so just a little bit bigger than the size of the wires. So once you have that done, create a new layer, and I'm going to name this white dots. Or just dots or dits sorry and so once you have that done i want you to just go ahead and create a little white dot in the center of each one of these christmas lights and we'll see why later Okay guys, so once you've gone ahead and created your white dots in the middle of each thing, I want you to take your little white dots layer and drag it underneath the lights layer so that you can't see them anymore. Then I want you to select your lights layer again and go to filter, go to blur and then go to Gaussian blur and set your Gaussian blur so that it looks something a little bit like Christmas lights but uh, a little blurred but not too blurred. So for me it'll be something like 4.1. Click OK. Then we zoom out, and then as you notice, there we go, we have our little Christmas light effect. Now you can choose to make the effect go any way you want to by adding in any more customizations, but that's pretty much how to do it. So that's pretty much how you guys do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this little holiday Christmas kind of themed video. Thanks a lot for watching guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Happy holidays, and I will see you guys in the next video. Also, if you guys didn't catch the secret video, well, I have a big hint for you guys right now, it's right here somewhere along the right hand side of my screen so just go ahead and click that secret annotation you know and yeah so if you guys tell me also in the comments if you guys like this idea of a secret video so just tell me if you guys like that and i'll try to do a secret video every time so yeah hope you guys enjoyed the video thanks for watching see you guys next time